Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Rascal says hi to. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. My supplies and uh, equipment are down in the description box below. And if you'd like this video, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new videos, <laughs> hit the notification bell. All right, so these are some coasters. Uh, I have completely wiped out of all my coasters that I had. So uh, I'm wanting to make some more. So what I'm wanting to do here is, and this, these are, these are going to be fun. So this is the paint that's left over from another pour that I scraped up. I don't want to mess it up because in all reality, it's blowing off. So there's not a big deal in it being like solid. Um, and this is enough of the dark colors. You can kind of a little bit see some in there, but so I'm going to base that on these. Then I'm going to put uh, this Caribbean blue and you know, this darker blue, phthalo blue was good and the purple was really pretty. And I think I'm going to do that. Um, those tend to be my, my go-tos that are just gorgeous all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe a little bit of white. I may, I may stick some white in there just to um, add something. So anyway, these are what I'm going to do. So I'm going to base it in this paint. So I don't have to waste a whole cup of paint. And even though it has a little color in there, that is going to be perfectly fine. And if it was a little brighter, it'd be great just like it is. each of those and just tilt it. Because once you do your design, it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna mix, it's gonna be fine. And you know what, you don't like it, wash it off. All right, he's gone outside. I don't know what it is about painting that they love to be around me. Okay, we're, we're done. A quick little torch. What is that? All right, so I'm just going to kind of blow the design out from the line. I like that. I like how vibrant it can be. And as you can tell, I'm not being real careful. Um, they'll work out. Can't control this anyway, so I'm not sure why we ever thought we could. And here's purple. Uh-oh. little bit of white. It's a lot of white. So I'm going to put some of this back on top of it and kind of break that up. Yeah, 
perfect. I've used all my color. I'm happy. Okay, now I'm doing something a little different. I'm not going to do a blow dryer. What I am going to do is a master's arrow brush. And I've not done that yet, so, well, let's play. Okay, so I have got this incredibly high. I'm going to turn my PSI down. Because it just blew the fire out of it. All right, I'm going to turn it down to 30. And I'm going to redo that. So, yeah, I think I am. All right, hang with me. That just, whew. But the bad thing is I'm not going to have enough of this, so I will... I'll mix up some more of that. I won't make you watch. All right. Some of that. Blue. Purple. And white. So. Let me think, do I want to use that again? Because, hmm. Yes, I still do. I still want to use it. Okay, still not what I'm wanting, but you know, I'm going to try this. Let me do a blow dryer. I'm going to see what it looks like. See if I come out any different. No. No, I like, I like this, so... So I'm wanting things to look like it's coming from the center. So I am going to, guess what, do that again. Do this again. So, anybody has seen my alcohol ink videos? This is what I do. I play. I find a solution, and <laughs> you get to watch me figure things out. Because I want to try something all the time. I just want to try different things. Let's see what I can come up with. I don't like that white. I really want to put some of this in there. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, this one I'm having trouble with. I'm not getting what I want and too much white again. But now, I'm going to do this. 
this way. See if I can't get it to look, I like these. So I like this one now. I do want to get some of this to the edge. Uh, this one I want to put a little bit of color right here. So I come, I'm going to start blowing from back here, but I'll, so I don't put my paint back there. And I do find I need a tad of white, just an inkling. still pulling a lot of that gray. Um, let's try that again. Okay. That. That. Man, that white just bullies its way back in. Uh, probably just a bit too much to begin with. I want some of that messed up. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let that go. I like it. And we'll hit it with, and of course I got paint all over my brush. I don't want that. them but this one the first one the one I liked so guess what we're gonna do this puppy now this is it better work this time because it's all my paint So. Now let them sit there a minute and they'll start pulling these out. All right. I think I'm going to call that done. Really, really cute. And different colors. I mean, they're not your typical. Typical colors. So, see how that gray and the different colors of the act with it? 
So yeah, happy with it. All right, y'all go have fun. Okay, I am back. It's been about four days. And this is the skin that went with these. And as big as this was, it kind of shifted, but yeah, I was okay with that. But I'm not finding a lot of great pal one inch round pieces that I'm just loving. Most of the time I can go straight to them, but not so much this one. Um, what I look for is very clear, crisp colors, bigger spots of colors, not a lot of little tiny stuff like this. This, and I'm gonna see if I can bring this down. My spring is pulling back up. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it. Um, so yeah, see this right here? There's just a lot of movement going in there. And I'm by a window, so you're catching the glare. Um, you know, something like that. Something you can get very distinct um, colors, very sharp. That one is is pretty pretty good. It's okay. And I usually go for things like that, this one, but it's not as pow as I want it. And, you know, if you're only going to do two, and I'm only doing two, I want them pow. So these are some of the other things I've looked at, like this one. I thought it was going to be really cute. It's not, so that's out. Um, these two, I think, are some of my better bets. So you can see that looks okay-ish, but when you put that on top of it and you kind of capture some of that movement, that's pretty good. Same here. You know, I wouldn't have thought that until I ran this over it and thought, well, that's all right. So, like this one, that just gets lost. That just gets lost. See, there's so much going on right there. So, that's a, a part you don't want to pick. This one's not bad. So, you've got a dark, you've got Definitely some, some lighter blue in there to contrast, some white, and that one's not bad. There's not a lot of great ones on this, I, I will just say. Um, but the best thing you can do, pretty much the only thing you do, is just take this along and run it everywhere and see if there's something that just goes pow, and you're like, yep, that's what I want, and that's what you do. And I don't even know where I had it. I kind of wanted that. Um, hmm. See that? That's how crazy it is. You you get it, and it's like not great. But you know, I still think I like these down here. So those are the ones I'm going with. I think I know I'm going with those. So those are it. Now. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix that. So, this is what I do, is I put my diamond glaze in a little bottle, so I have a little nozzle and I can get little drops out of it. And my advice to you is to burp this thing so that it doesn't clog up. So the first thing I did this morning was not burp it, and guess what? It's clogged up. So I need to kind of listen to myself. So anyway, this is this is how I'm gonna do this. Um, I've got an orange wood stick. Who knows where it's at? So let's. This is what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this on here and just get a little bit of the glue on, like that. That's about two drops. So I'm gonna set it down where I think I had it. Now, the glue didn't go all the way to the end, so I knew I need more. There. So you can see this. Slow it down just a little bit. You can see how that spreads to the side, and it still didn't do it. Okay, this is going to do it. There's my spot right here. 
Okay, there we go. See, it went all the way to the sides. That's what you want. Don't worry about it if it goes over because you're going to cut that out. Press on it. And that's stuck. It's not dried, but it's stuck. And I brought a little orange wood stick. Yeah, I don't know where it's at because I was going to dip this out. Um, I'll just do what I did and that'll work. So I need to remember where I did that. But seriously, two drops and you're you're done. This is it's that good. That didn't go all the way. So pull it back up. Now that went all the way in. So that is what you do. Now, we're going to let that sit for a little while, and we'll all be right back. Okay, so it's been uh, 10 minutes. It's still going to be some wet, but that way we can go ahead and go ahead and get this done, and, and it's dry enough. It's stuck enough that we can see how it's going to do. So I just go through and I cut these out. Now, I tilt my scissors outward. You can see. I do them this way. So, this bottom blade is underneath this because I want to cut at a little bit of an angle. There. See? Very neat. And got me an orange wood stick. You can do a stir or anything. Well, you probably won't make this mistake, but I did. So I'm just going to go and put like a really good drop like that. And these magnets are 25 mil millimeters mm. They're a little bit smaller. If you want ones that are going to fit these exactly, then you buy them. This was a 30, so I would have bought a 30. I got the 25. I like them just as well. I don't really have a, a major preference to them. So I just squish that down. I don't worry if there's a little tiny bit of glue. And there you go. You're done. So there is one. And they're really easy to do. Now you can also, I've got another video where I poured my skin, did the colors I wanted, and made magnets from them. Now in that case, you can have all kinds of colors and designs and just put it in there like you want to. It's a lot of glue. I'm get some of that off. I was talking and not paying attention. Okay. So there is that. All right. There we go. Got a little glue right there. Just scrape it off when it gets dry. All right. So see, this is an example of one that I put some colors down and just ran my little stick through it. And that'll be some really pretty ones because that shows up really well. So I'm not sure what video that is, but check it out. There's four magnets in the picture. All right. I hope this gave you some good ideas and y'all go have fun.